odds ratios in case control studies in five minutes. In cohort studies, you start with a sample that is free of a disease in question, and then you measure exposure. You follow the exposed group and the unexposed group over time and examine the probability of outcome in each group. You can look at the risk of outcome in each group and calculate a risk ratio, or you can calculate the odds of outcome in each group and calculate the odds ratio. In cohort studies, this can be done prospectively or retrospectively. Case control studies are different. In case control studies, we start with a group of cases and we match them to a group of controls. Then we can look back in time and see who was exposed and who was not exposed. This creates problems for the calculation of relative risk. First is that the cases and controls represent two different populations, and we have determined the ratio of cases to control. In a cohort study, you can calculate the probability of outcome given exposure. But in a case control study, what we're left with is the probability of exposure given outcome. And that's not the same thing. But we can still use the odds ratio to approximate the relative risk. And here's why. We've taken the numbers from the previous example and put them into a standard two by two table. In a cohort study, the odds ratio represents the odds of outcome given exposure compared to the odds of outcome given non-exposure. And using the standard calculation here, we end up with an odds ratio of 1.79. But remember, in a case control study, what we really have are the odds of exposure given outcome. So what we've done is we've taken the same example and set up the two by two table differently. Here we have the outcome in the rows and we have the exposure in the columns. Our calculation now represents the odds of exposure given outcome. But look, the odds ratio is still 1.79, exactly the same. And this is why. We calculate the odds ratio with cross multiplication. So in the case of the cohort study, it's A times D over B times C. If you look at the second table, which more accurately reflects the case control design, all we've really done is flip cells B and C. Looking at the cross multiplication, this has no effect on the odds ratio. It only applies to the denominators and it makes no difference in the final number. In one we have 38 times 15 and in the other we have 15 times 38. No difference. This is why the odds ratio is said to be symmetrical and appropriate for case control studies. Once again, we've made it under five minutes. Thanks for watching.